on. Already got a few people in here. Yep. Howdy, y'all. Mark Curtis. Grant. Scott. Scott. Yep. Scott. Grant. What's going on, everybody? Mm-hmm. Sound off if you're here. Go ahead and smash that like button. All that good stuff. If you're not here, smash it twice. <laughs> Man, Garrett, I'm glad that you're here. I was going to tell you, so the the X drill that you submitted, we were we were going to, so I don't know if you saw, but we've started like a monthly challenge mm -hmm. to help like get, give people a reason to go to the range and stuff, right? Okay, yep. So we were going to do the X drill from Green Lines class, which is like all this shooting and moving and reloading, and it's mm -hmm. great and it's awesome, uh, but not everybody has a range with where they can do mm. that, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, went out and did the fast test instead. Okay. So, something from fast and accurate. But anyway, I was going to use that, Garrett. Long story short, like as soon as I read that, I was like, yes, that's a perfect, that's an awesome drill. Um, but we might have to save that till till after we let people know what's up. Yeah, I'd say so. No. Yep. Good evening, cat ass. Good evening, <laughs> Hello. sir. Fellow wonderful ruffians. Mm-hmm. John Kranz, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> Adam <laughs> Hall. Who is this? <laughs> you know the story of that? No. So uh, Andrew Knucklehead, when you see you still in the Marines, they did some cross training with some Japanese guys, and they were doing like uh, patting people down, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so like, he'd, he'd find something. He's like, "What is this?" You know. And so like the Japanese guy, he it's his turn, you know, so he's patting this guy down and he finds this thing and he's like, Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh let's see, what do we got? Willie Everett and Heather Glover. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> and tattooed fucker, what's going on? Mm hmm That dude's in uh Pensacola. Oh yeah, that's right. Is that what we were talking last? Yeah, last man. That dude like it. walked up on me in the thing. He was like, "Are you who I think you are?" I was like, "I don't know. Who do you think I am?" <laughs> Clancy, we got Brian. What's yep, up, Brian? Brian, are you getting bad weather there yet? Mmm. I, I just saw a thing for like New Jersey, like flash flooding or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah, man. I didn't know what it was going to do today. Mm -hmm. I don't think it did either. No, it yeah, it couldn't decide either. <laughs> You're right. Evening from New Hampshire, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep. Kevin. Damn. Way up at the top. <laughs> What's up, guys? Joey. Yep. Noah, good evening, sir. Been in Indiana for the last month for work. Damn. What do you do up what are you doing for work up there? Yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. that exactly. Um, let's see, combat arts, isn't she? Space yeah. Force recruit, state New York, high winds, tree downs, power outages in many areas. Mm. Damn. Yep. Sorry, I missed you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hello, sir. Scott Wexler. Damn. Well, you want to give them a um, a rundown on how the uh, sampler package is? Uh, yeah, so far, so to in the last couple of days, we've been doing a, a lot of planning for the sampler package, as you guys may be aware. Mm -hmm. uh, we got about 12 people at the moment, and uh, which is a pretty good size, I think, for the pilot episode. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, as it's shaping up right now, it's going to be more... Um, uh, m more uh, direct, more uh, more taking it to them, mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of thing. So a little more assertive uh, in uh, the uh, these drills, uh, exercises, mm -hmm. um, and um, we've got a few interesting things going on. Uh, CQB house simultaneous with like a sniper shot, and then um, it's, uh, uh, so uh, other things happening down on a contractor field where the cars are, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so a bunch of simultaneous stuff going on. 
by uh, two groups of people that cannot see each other. On, mm. yeah, they're some they're blocked by terrain. So uh, kind of comms intensive, uh, of course. Little yep. planning, little more planning intensive on on you guys is in. I'm just gonna sleep in a truck while you do the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think everyone will be impressed. Mm-hmm. I, and uh, I've had a lot of great help from my protege, uh, who, <laughs> whom you'll meet when you guys get here. Mm-hmm. Uh, wealth of information. And um, well, anyway, I think it's gonna be a good time. Dude, I'm I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. I want to make too. Shelton hang out there the whole time with camera. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Of course. You know, of course. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, the more the merrier. Sorry for this stupid question. Is it okay to drive? Uh, water aqua H2O. Sorry for the stupid question. It is okay to drive fire my pump shotgun. Uh, yeah. I don't see any reason why not. Mm hmm. Uh, no. Oh, it's, uh, putting up you ask what kind of work he was doing mm. mike uh at the cummings plan in columbus oh, okay very cool joey why do you refuse to fix a motorbike what why is, <laughs> what is this a... <laughs> so since joey refuses to fix his motorbike you're gonna stop reminding me man <laughs> come on same team uh yeah no i'm not refusing i just am i'm just waiting for the right time <laughs> mm. Timing um, is everything. That's right. That's what they say. Mm hmm. Uh, What's up? Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson, Mike Farrell. Yep. What's up, homies? Well, I, I guess I can go ahead and let you guys know if you're if you're wanting to book some 2025 scheduled classes. We do have the first three months up, so first quarter up to March. And, uh, when I was putting them, putting those first three months together this this time, I did try to put some like advanced classes on the weekend mm-hmm. because typically we do Monday or sorry Saturday Sunday like fighting rifle, and mm-hmm. then Monday Tuesday is always advanced right. and stuff like that. So right. I had someone I can't remember what class it was, but they were like, "Man, like I've taken rifle like five times because it's always on the weekend. I've never taken advanced because I mm-hmm. can't can't get here on get the off week. work." Yeah, so. I know for sure there's at least one advanced rifle on the weekend, so uh, keep an eye out for that, and I plan on trying to find some spaces for that stuff throughout the rest of the year, as soon mm-hmm. as we get to that, so nice. keep an eye out for it. Uh, Joey Sankos, is carrying required during a medium action medical? I have some throwaway pants. Mm. It, he can use. He can use, Yeah, but they're too tight for carrying. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, those two set things are separate. Like, um, like when just just you'll switch into your cutting off you clothes just before they cut them off of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you should you should pack your gun the rest of the time. Yep. Don't make this weird. <laughs> yep. Hello from Long Island. Planning on coming back in November and teaching you Southerners how to train. This time <laughs> yep, I won't like you. I, I can't wait. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> this time won't lock the keys in the truck well even if you do i can help you out again right. <laughs> nice that's funny <laughs> oh, let's make it weird <laughs> <laughs> well dang guys you got anything you want to talk about throw something out um i'm sorry i wasn't too detailed about the the class coming up because yeah. i don't want to give away a whole bunch of yeah, stuff in it. yeah no but that's generally the the flavor. Mm-hmm. No, that was just that uh, that little bit. If anyone was on the fence, like that, mm-hmm. that should have got him because yeah. it's got me. I'm like, I'm about to pay Heather and <laughs> sign me up for this class. <laughs> She's like, Wait, I have things for you to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, it's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. You're right. <laughs> yep. Who, yeah, they need it, they almost need it more, you know, they mm-hmm. just, hard to help sometimes. Was able to score one of James's old rifles last week, a DPMS G2 308 with a VCOG. Dang. Dang. 
Awesome. I, well, I'm glad it found a good home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. For real. Uh, There's one for you, Jay. Uh, do you have any drills you like for precision rifle? Mm. That's tough. Um, damn, that's tough. Um, I kind of do like anything that has like uh, anything integrated from like like uh, shoot something close, something far, something close again. So uh, and then you know as many different angles as you can possibly get. Um, it, anything that had that kind of stuff in it, I, I tend I would tend to enjoy that more. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about the cool new monthly challenge you posted? Yeah, so oh. I, I mentioned it earlier. So if you guys haven't seen the new short for the people who, who showed up after, after I talked about it. Um, but yeah, we did just post a short. And basically the way that this is going to work is, right, post it the, the challenge. It's the fast test. Go watch the thing. Um, but to win anything, so we are going to give something away at the end of the month. Uh, we're not telling what it is yet, but um, but to win anything, you have to be a Liberty TV member, and you have to post a run of you doing it on social media, tag us in it, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you can post as many runs as you want, because we have a few different criteria that we're looking at for when it comes to choosing the winner. So um, post post uh, at least once a week. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, my, my first run it was up there included in the short and all that good stuff. So yeah, man, that's what we're going to do. And you're going to win something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> you don't know if you don't try. That's right. Yeah, Cat Ass, that's, that's exactly right. He's looking mm -hmm. forward to sharing the drill on the thing on the socials. I think it'll be fun to share our practice with each other and the Internet. Mm -hmm. Which is really the where this came from, was like, no one practices as much as they should, mm. right? You gotta have some, like you have to have a gym buddy kind of help hold you hold you accountable mm -hmm. on those days you don't want to mm -hmm. go in and stuff yep. like that. So, so we're all gonna be each other's gym buddies, gym buddies, and uh, and get some go. get some work in. Uh, Mark Curtis, I'm running a patrol crash course for some friends. Any tips for teaching for the first time, uh, brother? Uh, brevity uh people have a short attention span uh tell them what you want them to do and then say do it <laughs> and then uh, those should follow real close to each other and uh, uh try to uh trim the fat like make it as simplistic as you possibly can you you'll you'll thank me for that mm -hmm. but good luck brother mm-hmm Yep, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, Kevin picked up a larger window hollow sun. Pretty nice using the donuts. Do you guys like the larger window? Uh, I haven't had any experience with the, the larger window other than getting to shoot it. At NRA show last year, I believe, I ran a few mags through one of the demo guns that they had out there, and, and I liked it. I mean, you know, more more to see, mm -hmm. you know? Um but I haven't I haven't used it enough to say whether it's better than just the regular old version and stuff like that. So um, Lewis, I think, has one with the bigger window now, or mm -hmm. he's got one with just the bigger circle. So yeah. next time we have him on the stream, you can you can ask that again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Super Dave, what he said. Uh... Rich Elby says, Super Dave's combat speed class, highly recommended, encourage all to take mm. the class. Your thoughts on that? Did, yeah, did I, that? I mean, I haven't had his, so I think that was his like pistol and rifle integrated oh, stuff. I've okay. had his pistol one, um, but so I heard he, nothing but good things about that Okay, he's that got class. A, okay, so that's a separate thing. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, I don't see why not. Yep. Um, what, there's, I don't, I've never heard anything bad coming from Dave. Mm -hmm. Um, ba -ba -bum. let's see Jay Latzman Jay and Joey both what's your current favorite TV series man you know I don't know I haven't watched TV in yeah. so long yeah. um, I couldn't tell you like the last one I just saw was uh, 
uh, The Last of Us. Oh yeah, is that right? Mm-hmm. Is that the name? And the um, the guy had the underground bunker and all that stuff yep. in there. But uh, that's I haven't watched TV since then, man. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're not a big TV watcher either, unless it's Is It Cake? And Heather Heather's been watching a lot of <laughs> a lot of Is It Cake lately. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, sir, do you mean dynamically distanced and angled target transitioning transitions? Wow, is that what you meant with wow. that earlier? No. <laughs> yeah, only in better words than those. Damn. Uh, Tim's video was great, but the song at the end was awesome. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> He's working here, oh, dude. When I heard that t- come in, I was like, "That's it." Ship it, Shelton. That's it. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Here we go. World Traveler, thank you for that. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, man. He was in Sacramento. Yeah. That was a good trip, I think. Yeah. I always have a good good time there. I mean, except for the traffic a little bit. But right. It is California. So yeah. What do you want, you know? I I've I never got to go. I wasn't teaching at that time, man. I'm I'd I'd be down to go back out there and man, do maybe, a fighting pistol class. Maybe if we can get it going. We'll, yeah. World well, traveler, mm-hmm. send us a rain a, a class host form. <laughs> yeah, man. We that yeah, dude. We got to get that hooked up, brother. Mm-hmm. So you get to see Joey. And that's right. Let's see. Uh, Self reliance is that this weekend? It is this weekend. Wow. Mm-hmm. This joint's gonna be packed. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Pa, go. Hey, guys, I've been meaning to ask about appendix holsters. Seems like most of you guys, uh, for something other than the Enigma, is it an NR, NSR ladies appendix? I don't know. Uh, so I run the the NSR's EDC combo. Mm. Uh, is that so, the magazine pouch yeah, combo? Yeah, the okay. magazine with it and stuff. Got it. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And, and but even outside of the uh, the Enigma, Filster makes great appendix holsters too. And so if you didn't want to get an, an Enigma, you could just get a regular one like that. Of course, NSR makes great stuff. Um, you don't have to do the EDC combo. That they do the the Jaeger holster for mm-hmm. appendix as well as strong yeah. side and stuff. So, um, man, I, you couldn't go wrong with anything from NSR or from or from Filster really. But yeah, that's also true. I just don't carry appendix, so I, I probably wouldn't be able to help you much. Yeah. Nor am I a woman. <laughs> uh, Thomas Moreland, good to hear from you. You guys are up yeah. there in the, in the storm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. Mark Eggers. Oh, what's up, dude? I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. Uh, Comrade Art, who all's taking the Green Line class? I am. Joey is, yep. right? Yeah. And then... Um, Tim. Tim is taking Tim that Tim will well. be there, and you if you hurry your ass up. <laughs> yeah, the um, so we'll all be we'll be in all four days. So both classes, the yep. who's it's and the what's it's. Uh, Lewis will only be in the instructor one on on Monday and Tuesday. Oh. He's got to he's got to work. Oh, you know. Oh, I thought he was like oh, hoity toity, too good <laughs> to be seen with us, right? Uh, doo, 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 doo. That's what Lewis carries too. If he running an enigma, running. Mm-hmm. okay. Oh wait, I know what that is. The thing like you can wear in your gym shorts mm-hmm. or whatever. Okay, got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that thing's bizarre looking. <laughs> it is. But it, dude, it looks like it works. Yeah. I mean, no, for sure. Um, uh, more about the belt than the holster. When it co- are you saying like when it comes to carrying appendix? Or in general. Or just in general. Uh, boom. Barry Hall saying the sidecar from T-Rex Arms is a good appendix carry holster in my opinion. There you go. I haven't I haven't had any experience with it. Super George, what's up? What's going on? Uh, mm. Another endorsement for the sidecar. Yep. Yeah. Well. Since we're taking this this red dot class for the with the pistols, do you have you shot much red dot on a pistol before? No, no. 
not much at all. Maybe maybe two magazines worth. Okay. Uh, but uh, so I'm I don't know that much about them, of course, because I don't mm -hmm. shoot them. Uh, but beyond that, like I'm always probably going to run into somebody with a a red dot on there, and they're going to ask me cr crazy questions like. Why doesn't my dot work? Why are mm -hmm. my bullets going low left? Or, you know, whatever, something weird like that. But yeah, anyway, yeah. but I, I need to know, like, you know, if I turn this, what does this do? And I'll, you know, mm -hmm. like, where's the self-destruct? And, exactly. you, know, you know, the important stuff. Right, yeah. Yep. Very cool. That's uh, the same same reasoning that Farnham gave at SHOT Show this year when we ran into him. And we've talked a bit about lever guns, but, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. he came he came up to us and was like, hey, look, like, you need to learn how to run a lever gun because you're going to have people who might show up with it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Yeah. Uh, or are going to be asking you questions about it because you're supposed to know. Yeah, you know? well, I mean, here, like where we live, I mean, that's pretty much kind of a standard. Mm -hmm. It's either going to be like, you know, the deer gun. It's going to be a bolt gun or a lever gun. Yep. And um, so, like, you know, if it was a zombie horde hit 30 minutes from now, Mm -hmm. And we had to break into somebody's house to get some guns. Probably fifty-fifty shot. It might be a uh, lever gun. Now I get it. Everyone's like, you know, they could buy an AR. I said, yeah, they maybe they can, maybe they can. I don't know, man. Times are tough, you know, mm -hmm. budget-wise and all that, all that stuff. And you might prefer to eat instead of getting an AR. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but anyway, I I I, I think it's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, all the stuff we're about to do with some lever guns. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a model. Brain carry 17. DB Cooper, I salute you, sir. <laughs> Thank you for your service. That was a hell of a jump, by the way. You don't know about DB Cooper? No. Supposedly some dude, like, robbed a bank and then got on a like an airline airliner and then with a parachute like jumped out and then no one's ever been able to find him mm. so. um david last he's drinking old granddad bonded i'm drinking uh black rifle coffee <laughs> but cheers yep uh Jonathan Webb, looking to get a Model 45, but a friend carries a 17 Gen 5. I know the only difference is the longer barrel and the 17. What are y'all's thoughts on the shootability? Probably splitting hairs. Mm, yes. Yeah. That's that's They're, they're going to be identical. Yep. Mm-hmm. Albert Ruiz, what's your recommended caliber for lever gun? Uh... I don't know yet. I'm still, I'm still in the the testing phase of all this. Like, mm -hmm. even when I was a kid, I wasn't around a lever gun very often, and mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so I'm kind of learning a bunch of stuff about them too. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't even started to learn about them mm -hmm. yet. <laughs> yeah. So well, I'm waiting for Jay to do all the the legwork. The heavy lift. Okay. Yeah. Man, well, that's okay. <laughs> So yeah, three fifty. David last three fifty seven ain't a bad lever gun. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly if you're carrying a sidearm in the same caliber. For you guys that are up in those mm. areas where that might could be a thing. Look up Chael Sh uh, Sonin, where he claims to know about the real DB Cooper. Oh damn! There we go. Uh. John Krantz uses the Burkitt from Green Force Gear. Very comfortable. I think I think Lewis just got one of those to start testing that out too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, da -da. Yep. And then Joey Sankhouse, what manufacturer would you recommend for lever guns? Good question. Yeah. Got to, we're gonna dig into that. We're gonna get all in. Right. That. Now I'm, I'm hoping if we do this thing for uh, alumni mm -hmm. and. Um, Everybody shows up with every kind of lever gun you got, yep. and uh, we'll find out which button does what and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want some rough first impressions, not rough, but just show floor impressions at SHOT Show this year, 
we did a video over every major manufacturer that had their lever gun coming mm -hmm. out. Um, some of them we got got a walk through on them, I believe. A few of them it was just us picking it up because it was so busy, you know, and yeah. and kind of messing with it and yeah, everything. Yeah. So moving uh, the lever because yeah. I know they love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so go check out the the Shot Show twenty twenty four playlist and and look for those. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go, Henry. Mm hmm. Yep, we went to the Henry booth. I know we d we got a video yep, done Henry with them. Arms. Yep. Old Marlin or a Ruger made Marlin. I think are great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jonathan okay. Webb, thank you. Ba -bum -bum. Yep, more people chiming in for the Ruger Marlins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. And now Midwest is doing a bunch of like furniture and stuff like that for yep. uh, for lever guns now, but I don't know if they have a deal where like you can just buy because I know they I don't think they make the lever gun, but mm -hmm. they have someone that they're working with to do it. So I don't mm -hmm. know if you can go to Midwest and get one of those because those look sweet. Yeah, uh, I don't have any experience with one, but they look cool. Yeah, so. not yet, but <laughs> oh, let's see, Donald Rocco. I'll be there with an old Marlin 336 and 35 Remington. Hope mm. it works great for me. Okay. Yeah. Man, and, and someone chimed, someone said something earlier about no lever gun is good, though. Um, but I, I think that's kind of like a closed minded way of looking at it, right? Mm. Like, there's some. Uh, well, Some people might not be able to get anything other than that. That was like Lewis's big thing with like this yeah. lever gun craze is like, yeah. you can pretty much get a lever gun no matter what state you're in. Right. You I mean, know, you know, and it's not like, you know, uh, you know, scary like that gun, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, but, but, um, I think in the right hands, it could, uh, it could save your life mm -hmm. and maybe a few others. Yeah. Not to call out whoever said that earlier, but it was just a discussion point. <laughs> the gun you have is the gun that works. Okay, yeah, Donald Rock. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, the modern furniture lever guns are sexy as fuck. Mm. Joey, sand cows. Mm. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Again with this kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, work server i don't think there's anything going on with liver tv i did just log on to it myself earlier today um but that could have changed from then to now so uh, keep me posted send me an email if if you still have some issues and i'll i'll start working on it on our end ba -bum -bum. <laughs> thomas Morland says liver guns can punch through armor I, that's good to know mm. if that is actually the case yep well yeah Jonathan Webb I think if all if all someone had was a lever gun and was familiar with it they will be better that guy better than that guy buying an AR until he gets training on that AR I agreed mm -hmm. agreed easier on his pocketbook and bank account, all that stuff. Uh, Project Appleseed. Yeah, we do have that coming up soon, don't we? Mm -hmm. So for you guys who are, are interested in it, let me just pull up the exact dates here, if I can find them on the calendar. Um, but yeah, we're, we've, we've been communicating with them. And Christina, you might know the dates. But anyway, we've been communicating with them. We're actually hosting them here for a, a rifle shoot, all that good stuff. Um, hoping to get some, you know, I like that historical stuff they talk about. Yeah. That is yeah. pretty cool. I've heard some uh, some good things about it. Brian Greenwell went to one of their rifle shoots and stuff like that, had mm -hmm. a good time. Yeah. So, oh, there it is. Next month, the 27th and 28th. So if you guys are in the area and you haven't messed with Project Appleseed before, might be a good time to, to check them out. Uh, Brian Chase, are you guys ever – going to work with Henderson since James is gone? Henderson? I don't know. Henderson. I'm, with Henderson. You mean in Henderson? 
No. I'm not sure. Uh, if I knew more about <laughs> Henderson, I could tell you, yep. maybe, possibly. M might need a clarifying statement. Uh, Buck Murdoch, Semper Fi. No, Shelton's doing some stuff. Oh, yep, Shelton's doing stuff. Mm -hmm. More or less a saboteur. Yep. Ah, uh, I see. So Reed, Reed Hendricks. Oh, um, um, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm, no, no telling, man. Uh, what would you say the effective range? Oh, uh, effective range of a ten and a half inch AK pistol in seven six two would be. Man, uh, I don't know, hundred, yeah. one hundred and twenty, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know. I don't know about a. Usually, I just shoot mine out to about a hundred. That's mm -hmm. about it. That's about the farthest shot I've been taking with it. Bum, bum, bum. I think of it more like something I would use to shoot my way out of a hotel casino full of Russian mobsters. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, I just kind of shoot it at a hundred yards at a piece of steel. Yep. Uh, they need people, uh, they need Christina Kennan. They need people to sign up ahead of time in order to mm. do the class. They have to order the stuff and make sure they have enough teacher volunteers. Yep. Okay, cool. So if you think you're going to sign up, do it early. Yep. You should be doing it right now. Mm hmm. Dewalt says train both lever gun and AR. Mm -hmm. Properly imp implemented lever gun can procure an AR. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Good. Commandeer. Good. I, I like it. <laughs> I look. I like it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, you guys got anything? Anything? To, to throw out there because I'm I'm all out of all out of it. Uh, uh, combat art with uh, says with the 10 inch M92 AK pistol I get good easy hits out to 200 300 is the max effective range to expect cause it slows down after that. There you go. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you could probably get something out to three, like in a prone or something maybe. Barry Hall, is your sniper course a large group of people, or do you take a couple of guys at a time? I've read the prerequisites for the class, just wondering the size. Uh, the, the it's a it's a large group. It's um, uh, yeah, large group of people. No. Uh, so you, I break you guys down into teams, and I give you tasks to perform that involve shooting your rifle. <laughs> uh, so, um. For the most part, two, about two thirds of that entire thing is uh, just team missions, going out, doing things, coming back. So, uh, so yeah, there'd be multiple teams in there, mm -hmm. somewhere between. Um, I think I've had as as many as like sixteen, and somewhere between six and sixteen, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want a taste of the sniper course, you sign up for contractor sampler. Yep. Boom. Do the sampler. Bring your bolt gun with you. Yep. If you have one. If not, we'll get you one. <laughs> uh, Brian Chase, do you guys have anything going on in the Northeast coming up? We do, actually. We're going to go up to uh, somewhere up in Pennsylvania, not Anvil. If Heather's watching, she'll probably know off the top of her head. I'll have to look it up. But, uh, but we will be up in Pennsylvania. Uh, something tree, I want to say. I could be way wrong. Sugar though. tree. Is it Sugar Tree? Yeah. I know Sugar Tree is here. I think it's Sugar Tree. It might be Sugar Tree. Either way, it's something tree up in Pennsylvania. It's mm -hmm. on the website. <laughs> I believe we're doing pistol and rifle. Fighting pistol and fighting rifle. Sugar Loaf. Sugar Loaf. Oh, I was thinking. I See, I was thinking Sugar Tree as well. Okay. So, so. Anyway. That's crazy, man. Sugar Loaf is a hill on Camp Pendleton. Mm-hmm. 
Jay, how much ammo should I bring for the bolt gun? Uh, I'd about 200, something like that, 250. You can always bring more if you have more. Mm. Uh, Trey T, took trifecta and fighting rifle within the last year. What would you guys recommend next? So what what would be your classes after trifecta and fighting rifle? Hmm. Uh, damn, after trifecta? Mm -hmm. nah, that's tough. Yeah, they took the easy answers away already. They did. Um, <laughs> and you, did you say rifle? Mm -hmm. Dude. <laughs> uh, man, I think you should do a contract or something. Mm. That's what you should do. Yep. Contract or something. And we do have, mm -hmm. uh, so if you can't make it for sampler that's coming up month, mm -hmm. uh, we already have an SUT scheduled. So a small unit tactics in March of next year. We had uh, those, I don't know if you remember the, that group that came down for Way of the Rifle. I don't know if you taught that. It was like 10 dudes or six or something like that. Mm, I don't think I was involved in okay. that. Okay. Well, they all, the, they all signed. They were like, if we give you the dates and a deposit, can you put a SUT on these mm -hmm. dates for us? So yes. it's already already on the calendar for, for March. My contractor is great. If you don't want to do a five-day course, then I would jump into either Advanced Fighting Pistol or Advanced Fighting Rifle. Mm -hmm. I mean... I, I think those are two very fun classes, and you get to learn a lot. So Yeah. Yeah, vehicle tactics. Yeah, mm. Garrett, vehicle tactics is a good one because we spend a lot of time in vehicles. Yep. Uh, Jonathan Webb, would a three oh eight battle rifle set up with something like a 2-10 to 10 with some DMR course gun? fit into sniper basics or a sniper course i don't know one way to find out <laughs> yeah probably but you should come do it anyway mm. yep uh what are your thoughts on the savage impulse straight pull bolt, bolt gun and the beretta brx1 straight pull bolt gun um i haven't messed with them a lot other than shooting them on range day uh but I, I don't know. It didn't it didn't feel that different to me than okay. just running a... Um, I haven't even done that. I yeah. haven't even got to shoot them yet. Mm -hmm. I just saw a video about them. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> I, I, again, another one of those where I would I would love to have one to just go out and mess with and, and get some reps in, seeing, seeing mm -hmm. if I did ever figure out, like, the magic sauce behind it. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. I know they used to, like... Sometimes in those biathlons, you know, when they ski like a mm -hmm. great deal, then they have that twenty two rifle and mm -hmm. they so like so as they don't have to like do a lot of come off the sights a whole lot, like drastic adjustment adjustment, they just move that little straight pull dilly, but it's a twenty two, so it only has to go about that far. Right. But it is pretty cool to watch them shoot that stuff. I, I think it's kinda neat. Mm -hmm. I'll never do it because it's snowing when they do that. <laughs> I can't even mess with that. Advanced immediate action medical after trifecta. Need to do it. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say that. Well, damn, that's just about three or four choices right off the top. Yep. Dylan Mansell. Straight pull is one of those things that you can't tell if it's gay or just European. <laughs> <laughs> little bit little bit of A, little bit of B. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, and then vehicle tactics and building clearing, good information. Yep, cool. Mm -hmm. The two things we're in most of the time. Yep. Um, Thomas Moreland says he's doing movie trivia. Which is better, Breakfast Club or St. Elmo's Fire? I haven't seen – you could have guessed it. I have not seen either one of those. So He's in a movie deficit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's tough, dude. I, they're both kind of the similar – if you think about it, I don't know. <laughs> Just it's like two groups, a group of people, and all their things. Mm -hmm. that, you know, mom. You know, mom beats me. Dad coughs blood. Uh -huh. know, my sister gave the city of Chicago the clap. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, the movies I haven't seen could fill a theater. <laughs> You're right. Christina says Breakfast Club. Eh, okay. <laughs> that's funny Paco agrees Breakfast Club as well so 
Well, Looks like it's winning. There we go. Yep. Yep. It's out of the head by a nose. <laughs> well, dang. Oh, man. Um, well, so someone someone earlier mentioned the uh, enjoying the, the stuff that's been posting on the shorts and stuff like that. So you're like we were looking at the reviews or comparing the ad- analytics and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you're uh, charging forward assist oh my god your forward assist video <laughs> really dude? yeah yeah i mean is that the one that was the one that one and the the light one is already already performing really I, I well i guess i better watch them then <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah well there's one for you jay uh what's on uh what's on my bucket list for classes bro that is tough to say um i i remain in search of uh a contractor style equivalent out there somewhere mm. okay uh, but uh i don't know man outside of that i can't really can't really, can't really think of anything is there anyone that you ha- wanted to train with that you haven't yet or have you pretty much I haven't been out to Thunder Ranch mm. yet. I would like to do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm sure there's some other people. It's just it, not coming to mind right now. Right. Like I'll be yelling them out the window on the way to the house. But <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know when the press check class is. That's Who funny. Who said that? Jonathan Webb. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's any time you want. Like right after this. You just... Knock yourself out. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to know. Chris. Yeah, you got that. Uh, so the flashlight short. Yeah, I guess I'll have to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to check those comments for the. Oh, you know, for yeah, you know, I love the comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan Mansell, J- James told me once you take an HRCC class. There's not really anything beyond that. I disagree. Um, and um, I don't know. I disagree, but uh, I would do it. I, I would do a bunch of them, but mm-hmm. I'm weird like that. And uh, <laughs> maybe you are too. Let's see. Uh, Joey, I hope you've at least seen Terminator 2, Red Dawn, The Road Warrior, and The Patriot. I have seen... Terminator 1 for sure. I don't remember Terminator 2. Uh, and I haven't seen any of the other ones. So Yeah, you got to get the 80s Red Dawn. Yeah. That's the one. Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, and Road Warrior 2. Like, uh, so my uh, my stepson, Ian, he had not seen the Road Warrior. And I had to tell him, like, all these things. Like, uh, So, like, back when it was filmed, like, late 70s, um, you know, they didn't do CGI or anything mm-hmm. like that. So there's a chase scene where they're chasing these, this 18 wheeler and they're trying to like jump onto the the tanker part of this thing, and so all the stuntmen had to get together and agree on a miles per hour that you were comfortable with. So like, if you didn't make the jump and you fell off that thing and I ran over you, what number are we okay with? <laughs> And uh, so they all came up with like, I don't think it was like 30 or 35 was like the maximum whatever. And, um, but I was like, you know, that, like, they don't make them, I, I sound like the old guy, mm-hmm. they don't make them like that anymore. So mm-hmm. like this, that was just straight up uh, stunt man stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, so anyway, cool movie. You should check it out. Yeah. Uh, uh-oh, here we go. Oh, dang. It, it blew up after I looked away. It did. Like it does. <laughs> Um, Garrett Matson, I think you would enjoy Heart at Thunder Ranch. You're probably right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, Low Light Building Clearing. Okay, mm-hmm. also another good one. All right, fine. I'm stupid. I didn't know which one to tell. Him. <laughs> I get it. Your head is bigger. Uh, Airborne Refresher and Thunder Ranch. Okay, there's an Airborne Refresher. Uh, Grant Tilly, Jay's comment trolling might be better than his teaching. Wow. <laughs> People get some, wow. <laughs> Who knew, right? Uh, what are we doing here? I wonder if, oh, let's get one. Old school 
J23. Uh, have either one of you had the opportunity to shoot the Wilkinson Tactical CR-12 shotgun or the Kalashnikov Comrade 12? No, sir. I have not. Joey? No. Nope. Nope. Not even Tim. If they're if they're a magazine fed shotgun, he probably won't shoot them. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing that Kalashnikov probably is. Uh, Dylan says he wonders if James meant there's not much like HRCC out there. Not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that's probably true. But I mean, um, you know, you you're gonna big ride the big terrifying roller coaster in the at the amusement park, and then you're still going to get on all the rest of them. Yep. <laughs> uh, are y'all doing any classes in Arizona this year? At the moment, we do not have any any scheduled for Arizona. Um, if we get enough interest in it and we have some room on the calendar, we'll get out there. But it doesn't look like we're going to make it to 2024. So probably be back in 2025. Mm. Uh yeah, I mean, listen, I would say, so Christina say, <laughs> saying, Jesus, Joey, do I need to bring Heather my movie collection? <laughs> Did you even yes. finish the John Wick movies? Um, probably so. Probably. I watched, I know I watched one and two while getting ready to go watch four. I don't think I made it through three. But anyway, I would say I'd, I would love for you to bring your movie collection, but then I would just... The easy day. Yeah. So they would just not be watched at my house instead. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, Thomas Moreland, have you, have you told the story about the aircraft drop tanks floating away in the rain in San Diego? No. Uh, so when I was uh, a young Marine in uh, Camp Pendleton, California, more specifically Camp Margarita, it's behind an airfield. Mm -hmm. And it has a a uh, big creek running through there, river, creek, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and uh, anyway, heavy rains, things flooded. And uh, so they were uh, uh, coming by and they went through the airfield and those uh, pods underneath the jet wings that mm -hmm. looked like bombs, those, you know, their fuel tanks, well, they were empty. So they were just kind of floating around. And uh, like all these people started calling in and say, there's bombs, they're coming down the river. <laughs> And rah, rah, they're screaming, you know, like, the end of the world. And uh, so anyway, it's just those stupid things, like, just yeah. bouncing around in there. So Damn. Um, Grant Tilly, that was a compliment, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, are there any big differences in the training students receive compared to that of trains you do out of state, like in Sugarloaf? No. Mm -mm. Same, same exact curriculum. The biggest difference would be for like fighting pistol. If you come to Camden, then we have a recording of James for mm -hmm. the mindset lecture that yeah. we use. Uh, on the road, you're probably going to have one of us give it to you. So, but that that is the only difference. Yeah, that's all. Joey, uh, mm -hmm. do our drill videos need to be on YouTube or Instagram or what? I suck at navigating social media. Man, uh, whatever you can post them on. So whatever you use, if you use any socials. Uh, just post them on there. We're on everything. So just post it on there, tag us in it. And like I said, as long as you got a Liver TV account, you'll be entered in for, for the chance to win. Mm hmm. Uh, old school. Uh, is 224 Valkyrie dead as a cartridge? I don't. Brother, I never heard of it. So um, it's possible. <laughs> don't want to get your hopes up, but. Just because I never heard of it doesn't mean anything. Yep. Uh, John Kruger, good evening, sirs. You are not tardy and or late. Does it snow in Camden? Yes. Yes, it do. Mm-hmm. Yep. Only when you really don't want it to. And yeah, then, right. Then it's guaranteed. <laughs> uh, Dylan Mansell, uh, Jay, there's a school called Orion Training Group that offers some SUT. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Um, I like that thing they did where they had that graph, like, you know, start here and says, you know, uh, civilians don't need like military training. And then the next one was like, all right, fine. They can do that, but it has to be the old shit that I learned or else they're learning the wrong thing. And then it goes <laughs> on to this other thing and then, you know, it circles back and, and it says, you are here, you know, like, so you've been through the loop already. 
And I said, dude, that that is that nailed it. That was perfect. <laughs> um sorry, I got on a different thing there. Um uh, that's good. Um uh, some former forest uh, bubba's, that's awesome. Uh there's also one shepherd. Yeah, I've seen his stuff. Um I I reached out to them at one time to ask them if they ever wanted to do any of that with uh, live fire and I never got a mm. a response back. Uh, but if you know him, maybe you can ask him again. Because mm-hmm. he's doing like a, like squad uh, type uh, response to contact type things, but they're doing it in Miles Gear. If you don't know what that mm-hmm. is, oh, so so Miles Gear is uh, works in conjunction with Blanks, and it sends out a little laser pulse, and you're wearing this rig, mm. and if it hits one of those little sensors, that thing's like beeping, and like okay. the 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 exercise grader has the key to come shut it off. So you're beeping until he gets there, mm-hmm. and uh, but he does that kind of stuff out. Uh, I believe they're in Texas. Okay. But um, I just I talked to him and I said that looks great. Would you guys ever consider doing that with uh, with bullets? Mm-hmm. And if so, like I know a dude <laughs> that yep. knows a dude that we where we could do it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'd we'd like to hear back from you if you mm-hmm. out there at One Shepherd. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Christina, for being a member for, for 26 months. That's a long time. Thank you. Damn. Uh, John Kruger had fighting rifle in the in the snow first day, pouring rain day two. Yep. No, that's about right. Yep. Uh, and Gregory Seneff Sr., would you mind mentioning the Project Appleseed at Tactical Response on April 27th and 28th? No problem, Greg. Absolutely, guys. They need signups for it. So if you think you're going to be in the area, then go ahead and make sure you get signed up for it um, and all that good stuff. I know uh, Christina and Heather are both, I believe, I don't remember if it's the one we're hosting here that they're jumping in, but they have both like made a plan to, to take some Project Appleseed class. I can't who, remember. Who said that? Um, Heather and Christina. Oh, gotcha. Are, are trying to get into one of their pistol or rifle courses. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. See, boom. Yes, we are. Uh, would you mind? Yeah, you did that. Uh, Sam Russell, one shepherd, is in Major- Missouri, Virginia, and they just started courses in Florida. Well, good, good. Yeah. I know we already talked about it last last live stream, but we need to get some classes in Florida scheduled. Mm-hmm. Man. Yep. For any uh, tattoo fucker, if anybody. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's got an inn over there at uh, damn uh, Escambia River or um, uh, Jesus, the Element. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember that thing. Uh, Element Training Place over in Hope. Mm-hmm. Francisco, hook that up. Yep, get on it. Or Andrew. Yep. Hey, man. Andrew might have a new spot at Combat Art. Yeah. No problem, Greg. Yeah, absolutely. The Project Appleseed's doing good stuff, guys. So, again, I get it. You know, if you're not in the area, you're not in the area. But uh, but if you have any friends or family in the area, tell them that they're, they're missing out if they don't sign up for that. Hello, Thad. Fat nuts. You're late. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm. Mm-mm. Uh, we might be having some some internet issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, element. element. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. remember the daggone name there for a minute. But uh, if you guys are in that area, need to put something together. You mm-hmm. need to shoot your pistol and your rifle. Yep. And your shotgun. <laughs> and I think they have a classroom there. We could do medical stuff in there. Yeah. I believe. It's been a while since I had a, a tour of the place. Mm-hmm. On the road, medical medical tends to do pretty pretty good on the road, you know. Yeah. So I'd be down for it for sure. Yeah, and it, like people say, well, I can't. I'd like to train, but I can't afford to buy bullets, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, you don't need to. No. Much more. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah. What's up, dude? Uh, Blue Falcon was waiting for his cobbler to cool off before he joined us. Yep. Who? <laughs> so mm-hmm. bad fat nuts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cobbler. 
<laughs> Did you have you heard that story? No. Oh shit. What oh, it was a it was a thing, man. We we went out to where were we? New Mexico. And we go to this restaurant and uh he orders cobbler. Mm -hmm. And he asks the the waitress, "Is that cobbler warm?" And she yeah. was like, "I think it is." And he was like, "Oh, well never mind then." And <laughs> <laughs> and like, made this big deal over he wanted because he doesn't like the ice cream to melt because that he wants two separate uh, desserts and stuff. Couldn't and, you just put it on two different plates? I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure he could figure something out. So anyway, yeah, yeah. Anytime cold cobbler gets brought up, it's because he, he don't want to burn his bad. mouth. He shouldn't be eating that stuff anyway. <laughs> you told me that you wanted to cut back on that stuff. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, if Brian was here, he could do the do the story justice. But as soon as that <laughs> happened, he was like, "You cold cobbler eating." <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, and look, everybody else. Here uh -huh. comes the dog pile. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell him it's a hate crime. Exactly. Dude. Then he got in trouble for, for not using his sun visor. He was driving for James mm -hmm. and uh Oh, the flip down visor. Yeah, yeah. I was think I thought it was like one of them where them <laughs> no, like retards wear them to the football yeah. game. Like cut the top of the hat out, put these on, turn it around, put their sunglasses on. <laughs> it's like this mongoloid is in college. <laughs> But anyway, so you meant the flip down, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry. But no, it's just between that and the the sun visor thing. Like he just did not have a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be some kind of weird quirk. Um. <laughs> so he's trying Room to justify himself. So, no, he didn't. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, probably not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where to get off the X move to? Oh, uh, it's actually, we do have, it's just get off the X again, get off the mm -hmm. Uh, again, I think we talked about it last time, but, uh, unfortunately with the forums, there, there are still people who post on there, but it is not as active as the old one used to be. I think Facebook and, and things like that killed the, the internet forum website mm -hmm. kind of genre. So, um, but if, if you're still into that, then absolutely get on there, chat with the people who are up doing that stuff. Anyway. Um, da, 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 da. the cold cobbler. <laughs> okay. Combat art training. I'll take cold cobbler cold before I take a burger with no cheese, like Jay. Dude, that's uh, bro. I I literally just sent him yesterday <laughs> a menu. Item one, hamburger. Item two, mm -hmm. cheeseburger. Two separate things two separate things i agree on the menu yep. separate <laughs> apart different numbers not the same not even the same nope not the droids you're looking for <laughs> um. dylan thank you he wrote a bunch of course reviews on get off the x for all five of his readers sweet thank you that's awesome who nailed it <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah. So uh, listen, th listen, guys. I, I agree with all of you talking about the ice cream is supposed to melt, cold cobbler shouldn't exist, so on and so forth. Like, make sure that you send Thad Fat Nuts private messages, letting him know how wrong he is. Like, just don't let him know it's not okay. Why is item two not a cheese hamburger? Well, yeah, because there's they're not. The same, mm -hmm. nope, stop it, stop. <laughs> it's not the same. Yep. Um, yeah, if it's cheeseburger, it has to have cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. It's not a hamburger with cheese. Mm-mm. No. Right, yep, yeah. see, here, here we go. Yeah. Here it comes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But man, so like, so you know, he's making fun of me about the burger mm -hmm. they brought and whatever. Like, dude, this thing had so much cheese on it. <laughs> like, the every piece of cheese had a piece of cheese on it. Mm -hmm. I was like, holy cheese! Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Like she did it out of spite. 
almost. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, he didn't mean yeah, hamburger. Yeah, I'll show him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, he's never had cheese before on a burger. Can you believe that? Let's show him what it's about. <laughs> after, after the whole thing was over, like after I finally got the burger, it came out in a, in a to-go container. I was like, <laughs> got it. We, we are seeing our way to the door. Thank you. Damn. Um. Caleb May is looking forward to fighting Pistol on the 27th and 28th. Came by the shop and signed up the other day. First class for him. Excellent. That's cool. Are you the guy that Heather and Shelton were talking about? That They were saying, never mind. Did, just show up to class. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, shut up. Get here. Um, Making up bullshit like ham on a burger. I didn't name it. <laughs> I didn't name it. It was already named before I got here. Yep. Oh shit, Matt Morrison said, sorry, missed the live. That was that is a clue. We are at eight o'clock. Oh. Yeah. You got any closing thoughts for him, Jay? Man, come on. Go, uh, get to training. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Let's go. There's sure. plenty of things going on. Get involved. Yep. Guys, like I said, we have posted the first quarter for twenty twenty five. We got sampler coming up next month. We've got uh, any number of things on on the website so check it out uh all that good stuff and thank you for watching as always we'll be back next week uh this is the way